Software Spring Presence Which to use, SUMFS, or DSUM, to sum numbers, in Google Sheets. Hello folks, greetings. Welcome to this tutorial, which compares SUMFS, and DSUM, to sum numbers, based on multiple conditions. Let's begin with a quick intro to the two functions. SUMFS SUMFS, returns the sum, based on one or more conditions. Ok, here is the syntax, of the SUMFS function formula. In this data range, this is the sum range. This is the criteria range 1. Criterion 1, for example, the value in this cell, is applied to criteria range 1. The other attributes are optional. DSUM D, in DSUM, stands for database. DSUM, returns sum, based on conditions, in criteria range. Alright, the syntax of DSUM function formula is Database is the data range, with a header row. Field is the range with numbers, to sum. Criteria is the range, with one or more conditions. For more info on SUMFS and DSUM, please review their exclusive tutorials, whose links are given in the description. Going forward, let's sum numbers, in this column. First, we will use the SUMFS function formula, with two conditions. First condition. Criteria range 1, should contain shirt, which is criterion 1. Second condition. Criteria range 2, should contain cotton, which is criterion 2. Let me type criterion 1, and criterion 2. Alright. We are all set to type the SUMFS function formula, specifying the two conditions. First, type the equal to symbol, S, U, M, I, and select SUMFS. For some range, select this range and type comma. For criteria range 1, select this range and type comma. For criteria 1, click this cell, and type comma. For criteria range 2, select this range, and type comma. And, lastly, for criteria 2, click this cell. Type the closing parenthesis. The final formula is. Press enter. Alright, SUMFS has returned the sum, applying the two conditions. Now, we will use the DSUM function formula, for the same task. Type the equal to symbol, D, S, and select DSUM. For database, select the data range, including the headers, and type comma. For field, type the label of the column, the numbers in which, you want to sum, between double quotes. Type comma. For criteria, select this range, including the headers. Type the closing parenthesis. The final formula is. Press enter. There you go. D sum has returned the sum, applying the conditions, in the criteria range. Now, let me modify the DSUM formula, to expand the criteria range, to include another row. Alright, I will type the conditions. Let me modify the formula, to specify the new criteria range. D 
DSUM, has updated the sum. Note that, when you add two or more rows, to the criteria range, DSUM connects the rows, with our logic. It means, DSUM will return the sum, if the conditions in this row, or in this row, or both the rows, are true. Okay, now the question is, which function to use? DSUM has an edge, over SUMFS, because it allows to use our logic, easy to add or modify conditions, and the formula is straightforward. However, you may want to choose either function, based on the arrangement of data, your familiarity of the function, and the task on hand. Summary SUMFS, and DSUM, assist to sum numbers in a range, based on one or more conditions. SUMFS output, is based on and logic. DSUM output, is also based on and logic, for conditions within a row, of criteria range. DSUM connects, first and subsequent rows, in criteria range, using our logic. DSUM function formula is straightforward. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.